Hello everyone, it's Trini here from there's a card for that.ca and today we're live so that means it's haul day and we all know there was a new lawn fawn release so we're just gonna get right to it. Um, so it's most of the stuff from the new release and um, some of the older things that I wanted to toss in because I had some really super awesome ideas. So uh, we have the Onome. And I'm super excited about this because my sister-in-law, the one who likes llamas, we've talked about her, she's awesome, um, also really likes gnomes. She has this huge gnome collection and so June 21st, I think, is also International Lawn Gnome Day. So I like to make her a card. Um, somewhere on my blog there is one that I had sent her. And so I'm super, super excited for these, these little guys. And they also kind of remind me of like, this one, especially like a little Dutch girl. <laughs> like, so maybe I'll do her in like Delft's Blue or something like that. So, super exciting. Um, extra amazing Easter. Um, I wasn't sure at first when, when the, during reveal week, how I felt about the new look for, for Lawn Fawn. Like, these ones are definitely not exactly the same as, um, like the, the art style is a little bit different. And I was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. But really, they're super cute. So <laughs> what are you gonna do? You just, just gotta have them. But I'm really excited about this one, especially this little guy, because if you use it with like the toaster pull tab add-on die set, then he could be popping out of the basket. Spoiler alert, might be coming up. Who knows, right? Um, then I got the get well before and afters and this little whale here, he's just about the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And it'd be so cute with little fishes because one of their older sets has, um, a little bird with a nurse hat and, uh, if I can use that tiny little nurse hat on some little fishes, then you could have all these little, little nurses around him and stuff like that. And I really like the idea for the, um, uh, magic picture changer die like the before and afters because interactive cards like I don't know if you've been watching or following my blog but they're kind of my jam I really like them and this is just this is just fantastic um, be happy um, I was really on the fence about this one um, I also thought it was like the the smaller one like this size like the medium size-ish one. Of course, that's the old one from before, but the sloth always hangs out on my desk, right? Um, and so I was a little bit surprised when it was this big, but um, it's the faces. Like, these little faces are awesome. Like, if you look at the older Lawn Fawn sets, all the faces were already in all of the things, and so I would use, like, my X-Acto knife and cut them out because sometimes I don't want a happy birthday cake. I just want a birthday cake. Um, so I think it was probably one of the best things that Lawn Fawn had ever decided to do was to just put happy faces on the side. Like brilliant. And then that way I can use like all these cute little like this nerd face. Like oh my god guys. Oh my god. It is so adorable. Um, on anything I want. Right? And um, I'm not gonna lie. I've already been into this one because my haul actually came in two separate parts and then there was little discrepancy with one of my things I had to go back and get the thing but it's all fixed now and um, my aunt her birthday was on the 1st of March and she is like this little urban gardener and she's wonderful and so there will be a video coming up or not a video no because I didn't film it it's just gonna be a post of her birthday card but it just hit the mail so I have to wait till she gets it before I can post it because you know how it is um, the Reveal Wheel Spring Sentiments, and I had also gotten this new Reveal Wheel Semicircle Add-on die, because they're just fantastic, and, um, I have to have them all. <laughs> Although I didn't get the egg, because I was like, hmm, not sure how I'm going to do that, but you know what, you know what's going to happen, it's like, it's going to be, I don't know, August, September, and be like, you know what I need? The egg. And so I'll probably get it then. Um, so... Yeah, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love, like, how spectacular this can be. Even, like, if you're not using the reveal wheel and you have, let's say, a rainbow with die cuts or even things. Like, you could put 
these round ones, rounded ones, in the top of the rain rainbow. So it'll be fantastic. Uh, butterfly kisses. Like, do I even need to go into details about this one? Like, look at him. Look at him chasing butterflies. And there's a card coming up because I've also been into this one because I wanted to wait until I had all of my stuff before I did this, like, haul video, um, which had to be up before I could do any of the posts from the cards I've been making. But I've already made a Butterfly Kisses one with this teddy bear. So that will be coming up probably in the next couple days after I get this video up on the YouTubes. And then Roarsome. Like, I already had their other one, Critters from the past, I think, with the bigger dinosaurs, but these ones are littler, so it could be like a whole troop of dinosaurs, which would be super, super exciting. And then, I don't know if you can hear it, my husband's whistling upstairs. It's quite the whistler. Like, you name any tune from a video game and he can just whistle it. <laughs> uh, Lama Tell You. I'm pretty stoked about this one too. Um, I also think that this one would go really well with the llama that's coming in the Simon Says Stamp March 2019 card kit because it's like that much bigger llama and then this little llama could like go inside or be like, look at there's a baby llama, you know, however you want to do it. Um, I did decide on this one, but then I couldn't remember why after I purchased it, but I think it'll be cute. like. You could even use it as like, let's talk about how awesome your um, your party was or anything like that. Like, who hasn't be awesome? Now he's yelling. Because kids, right? Um, so, also older set. Um, one in a chameleon. Now, I did get the coordinating dies for this. And typically, I don't get the coordinating dies. Um, but I have this very specific idea for this set and so I definitely needed the die um, for it so I obviously I have the scan and cut you guys heard me talk about it lots and lots of times I've talked about it in my blogs I've talked about it in my videos and I absolutely adore it and for the most part that's what I'll use but I have a very specific plan and I thought the die would be a better option than the and the scan and cut so that is why I have the die for this one and then to store the dies that I do end up getting I'll probably just slide it into the back of this one just so that they stay together right because why not um we're almost done older set say cheese again because I keep finding like I never wanted this die set but then I keep finding myself like using my rectangle and my square dies to create the Polaroid looking thing so it's just like you know what I'm just I'm just gonna get it and I can always use an extra heart die cut and the fact that it's stitched and it's like a plump heart as opposed to like those really skinny hearts is fantastic so pretty excited about that and then I got the magic picture changer and magic picture changer add-on dies and um, yeah from the Lawn Fawn die, this is definitely one of the most intuitive. Um, the one thing I did notice is that these dies, which seem to be nested in here, they're not all clipped together the way we see the dies usually, like in here, where they're like a thing, you gotta clip them and you gotta like file it down so you don't cut yourself. Um, this one is not, they're all loose, which is, which is pretty cool. I love the fact that you can use the window here to kind of trace out on your paper where the image and the picture and stuff have to be. And it's it's incredibly, incredibly intuitive. Like it is super fast to put one of these things together. And because the stamped space, like in this square and this one, which they're the same size, um, is so small, you don't spend a lot of time creating your scene. You can pack a huge punch into this tiny little scene on both of them and then it's just there and it's a huge huge punch into the card so that is fantastic and then when I was picking up my thing this was not actually on my my order list and then of course I saw a video and I was like oh gotta have that and these are bigger than I thought they were but it was already in my hand so at that point I just I just didn't have a choice right um, so these dies these mushrooms are bigger than I thought they were going to be um, but that's okay. Like, I think even if you take like this section here, it would be fantastic in like the shadow box card or the, the pop-up opening splash card or 
in anything that you want to add a little bit of dimension to and I mean you could use like this section because the arch is so consistent throughout the whole thing you just use whichever section and it'd be definitely good for layering because if my area of space is only like what is that like three inches like this big then I can use this in the foreground and this in the background and like skew it so you could have like this whole field of mushrooms that like the little gnomes are playing in hint right a lot of foreshadowing in this video right so that is the lawn fawn 2019 haul video that I have for their spring release and let me tell you I cannot even wait like I am so excited about getting to play with all of these things and sharing my inspirations and hoping that you guys will all follow along so thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button the like button the thumbs up button my Facebook post and my blog post will be down below Hope you have a great day. Bye.